GCSE Geography, we're looking south at Swanage. This is Chalk Coastline. And the more resistant the rocks are, the more vertical they are as cliffs. And we're looking at two stacks, which obviously were once joined to the coastline. One's a sharp pointed pinnacle. And this is on the south side of Studland. And you can see the cave, which the sea has found a fault and is widening it into this obvious looking cave. Now we pan the camera along the coast looking now southwest to south and we're coming across a delightful geographical feature which a lot of boys and girls have learnt about in their GCSE geography because here we're looking across the area called Pool Harbour. And right in the foreground, we've got a headland here which has been smashed. And this forms many of the characteristics you see in your GCSE geography books. We've got a headland here that you've got a cave forming in the major rock in the center of the picture. And out on the far right there, you've got the stack called Old Harry, named after a 16th century pirate who looted in the area very popular destination for visitors. This is September 2017. It's prime season for Duke of Edinburgh Award students who are here today. So this is a chalk headland which is far more resistant than the clay soils and rocks and shales in the background which form the low-lying coastline of Poole Harbour. And in the distance on the far right of the picture, there's some more chalk. And that is the west side of the Isle of Wight. And the white part there is the famous Needles, which is similar to Old Harry. And millions of years ago, the land joined the Isle of Wight to Old Harry. But it was broken into by the waves eroding the softer rock to form this bay and I'm very pleased that I am at Old Harry overlooking pool because I've never seen it before and I still get excited about visiting new places especially if I see them included in GCSE geography textbooks and revision books because this is a wonderful field study for people of all ages.